hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate swift ui inside expo react native application so in case if you don't know swift ui it is basically like a uh, declarative uh, programming ui from ios swift ui is only for ios you can't use it in android mm -hmm. i have already made a the swift ui equivalent for android is jetpack compose and i have already made a video about that with expo react native so this is only for ios only uh, some of you might be thinking why uh, the important thing to understand is something like Swift UI charts. I don't want to rely on a third party library uh, for integrating charts in Expo React Native app. There is nothing wrong with it, but Swift UI charts are directly from Apple. Uh, so, this is a great example that there will be very less bugs. Uh, all the proper iOS, uh, you know, UI related things will be uh, good in Swift UI. So that's one of the things like how, why knowing how to integrate Swift UI in Expo React Native is very important. So anyways, let's get started. So firstly, we have to create an Expo React Native project. For that, I will be using this blank TypeScript template. Feel free to use whatever template you want. The reason I'm using this blank TypeScript template because it has very less code. So I'll go over here and this is the command for it. You can go to your workspace directory inside your terminal and then just run this particular command it will ask you for your app name uh, yeah you can enter whatever app name you want i'll just keep things simple my app okay and i will just open it so here you can see my app uh, i'll just don't save so as you can see integrating swift ui requires writing some native code here you can see there is no ios folder created inside of our project so we need to create that also one more thing is i have already created one sample practice project before recording this video so i will be copying a lot of code from this uh, practice project so don't get confused but i'll try to explain it as much as i can the next thing uh, for creating the ios folder is you will have to go to this particular url and open this okay and here you will have to select ios device select development build over here i don't want es i will run it locally okay i have already installed xcode if you haven't done that you will have to do all this also you will have to do xcode command line tools i have already installed watchman as well then we have to install this export dev client so i'll just copy this i'll go to my project i will cd to my project i'll copy this command i'll click enter okay once that is done we have to copy this particular command so this will actually create the is folder for us and it will take a lot of time so i just paste it because it will have to do all the cocopod installation stuff so be patient it is asking me for my bundle identifier use whatever you feel like typically it is com dot your company name dot app name but yeah this is a practice project for me i'll just click on enter and it will uh, create the project for me next uh, let it install in the meantime what i want to show you guys is we need to create a new module to integrate swift ui inside our expo react native application so for that you can go over here and i'll just scroll down and this is the command which we need to run once our cocopod installation setup is done so this will create a separate module for us so i'll just wait for this cocopod installation to done and then i'll come back okay so the cocopod installation is complete and it is asking me to run on my device i won't run it uh, like we haven't written any code uh, so i'll just do Control c next like i told you uh, we have to just copy this particular command right to create a native module so i'll just open and i'll paste this command it will ask me for my module name and everything i'll keep everything as default and i'll just click on enter if you want you can change your module name so it's up to you I'll click enter 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 so it will create the module for us now again we have to run this particular command for doing cocopod installation inside that particular module so i'll just do this and it will do all the setup for us now the first thing which i want to show you is you will have to go to app.tsx like i told you i will be using my uh, sample project which i have created so i'll be copying a lot of code from that so i'll just open that app.tsx okay and i'll copy it and then i'll explain it to you 
so here you can see basically what i am doing i am importing this module view which was created inside this modules folder if you have named your module some different name you will have to change the import as well as over here as well okay so if you see the ios part here we have this my module view file so that's what i am importing and i'm making sure my module view occupies the entire width and height so basically in swift ui i am uh, uh, like creating a normal text view you don't have to occupy the entire width and height but uh, instead of text view you can create any kind of swift ui view it's up to you uh, so yeah i'll leave that up to you now here you can see that we are getting this error for style so for that you will have to go to the src my modules.types.ts here you can see it is telling me it takes a name prop as well i don't want this name prop if you are sending some prop data to native i said you can keep it i am not using it i'll comment this out and for the style errors to resolve we have to add this view props thing import it from react native and if i go to app.tsx here you can see the issue is resolved next you will have to go to my module.swift okay and let's see what i have done modules my modules ios so here this is the file and this are the file okay so i'll just open it over here so here you can see i'm not really doing anything i've just commented the code out so i'll just go to my module over here and we just have to comment this out so i'll just comment this out because i'm not taking a name prop if you are taking it you should keep it uh, okay so this is also done this is done this is my practice next come coming back to our my module view file okay so i, I have to open this my module view again i'll just copy paste all the code and then i'll explain it to you what i'm doing so i'll just paste it over here so first we are importing swift ui and ui kit now the problem is we can't directly integrate swift ui we have to go through the ui kit bridge uh, because expo view is a ui kit view it is not a swift ui view so here i am just creating a ui view okay and inside this required init i am adding it to our parent view which is our expo view then here we have to create a file called my swift ui view so for this don't directly create it inside uh, vs code it won't work for you so you have to go to your project uh, in the meantime i will just open this from my practice project okay and i will just go back to my original project so which is my app go to the ios folder and just double click on this xc workspace it will open in it in xcode we have to create this file via xcode coming back to our my module view so here we are initializing our swift ui file you can name it whatever you feel like okay then this is all boilerplate code on integrating swift ui view inside ui kit so we are we basically need ui hosting controller then we get our swift ui view from this vc then we just do this ns layout constraints over here as well and here we take hold of our controller then we add this vc as a child to our controller and then we add the swift ui view to our view and then you have also need to call this vc dead vc dot did move to parent passing our controller and here we are overriding our uh, layout sub view method so that we can set uh, bounds to our views frame so that whatever style you are passing it from react native it uh, takes that style now once xcode is open you will have to go to pods development pods scroll down go to my module or whatever name you have given and uh, our swift ui file name is my swift ui view again name it whatever you feel like but change it in the code as well so i will just create new empty file i will just name it as my swift ui view and it will create a, a swift ui file for me now important thing to note is you will have to go over here and inside target membership make sure you see this my module default okay if you see something other than this then uh, the file was not added uh, right again if your module name is different then it's fine my module name is just my module that's why i'm using it now this is my swift ui i have kept things simple uh, also swift ui view swift ui is, uh, i think some of the swift ui is i think available from ios 13 or 14 but some of these properties like this font bold and foreground style are only available from ios 16 uh, so yeah that's why we have to update our minimum deployment to ios 16 as well so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here so here here you can add whatever swift ui view you feel like i have just taken a text hello from swift ui feel free to add whatever you feel like so again like i told you this i think ios 16 this foreground style is only from ios 16 that's why i'm using it 
uh, iOS 16 over here also inside uh, my module sorry my module view we have to annotate with iOS 16 now this my module view is used inside this my module file so we also have to annotate it, it with iOS 16 now you will have to go to your project uh, over here and here go to your select your targets go to iOS and here also you will have to update it to 16.0 also over here 16.0 yeah i think that should be it now i'll just run this application and show you guys the output it's okay if you run it on a simulator as well okay guys so as you can see it is running on on my ios simulator and this is the output text component yeah that's it thank you for watching bye